Fresh off her fourth Grammy win, jazz drummer Terry Lynn Carrington is in Toronto for a residency at York University, where students and members of the public can listen to and learn from the renowned artist. For this album to be recognized by the Academy and its voters was very special because um, the mission is to do corrective work and helping uh, to recognize more women composers in the field. Carrington won Best Instrumental Jazz Album, a category in which she made history as the first woman to win in 2014. And she's a passionate activist for gender equality in the industry. There have been a lot of women that wanted to play this music and didn't feel welcomed or didn't uh, have access or didn't have mentors. The most important thing is not to just have women because we want women, but to have uh, equitable circumstances so that women feel like it's a, there's opportunity there for them as well. Carrington was presented with an honorary doctorate from York University last year and says returning to mentor students under their Oscar Peterson residency program is an opportunity to both further and be a part of the future of jazz. I think anybody that really loves the music is concerned about it surviving and thriving. And even the only way that it will is uh, through young people and um, you know we have to be open to the way they hear it, the way they uh, make it. Surrounding myself with people of this generation uh, makes helps to keep me relevant and helps to keep me in tune with what's happening today so it's it goes both ways. Students say they're inspired by not just her music, but also her advocacy for social justice. Huge inspiration. It's just incredible that she's actually here. And her last album talked about so many important issues like police brutality, mass incarceration, political prisoners. And she just really shows, you know, that you can be a globally recognized artist and also really use your platform to give voice to important issues. It's really great to have mentors that are really trying to put a positive spin on the world. I'm trying to inspire as well as be inspired. Carrington's residency lasts until Thursday and students and the public can attend free workshops and a concert. For more information on that, you can go to our website citynews.ca slash extras. For City News, I'm Doshad Berman.